Hey guys, welcome back to Titanium Man Garage. And I'm back with another quick tip of the day. So I've been working on this beastie. I nicknamed her the Black Beauty. I uh, got her running all good. I hop on this bad boy. <sighs> Take her for a test run. She's running down the road really good. And all of a sudden I start turning the handlebars. And all of a sudden, blah, it just dies. So push the thing back into the garage, which was not very fun. And uh, then pull the cover off. And I started looking around. I started wiggling wires. And uh, I had hot wired my fan. So I, when I would turn the key on, I would hear the fan run. Well, the fan didn't run. So with the key on, I started wiggling some wires, trying to figure out uh, if I've got a bad connection somewhere. So I started wiggling these, and all of a sudden the fan starts running. And I'm like, okay, um, I think I know what my problem is. These wires going all the way up to the kill switch. So I disconnected them. Those wires are really dirty and they're starting to turn green with corrosion. So here's my quick tip of the day. I'm going to show you how to quick and easily clean them. And uh, that should uh, cure my problem. Uh, you take uh, vinegar and salt and you just soak it in there. It cleans them up real nice. I'd like to show you on this four wheeler but my wife used all the vinegar. I did this in a previous video. So I'm going to show you a clip of that of how I uh, clean the wires on an ATP I did. I'm using one tablespoon of salt and a cup of vinegar and I'm letting my wires soak in there. That'll clean all the green corrosion off and I've had it sitting for five minutes and oh, I actually cleaned that up pretty nice. Those were all green when I pulled them out. And that, uh, that actually goes up to here. Because uh, what I did was uh, when I turned the key on, the speedometer would light up and the kill switch wouldn't work. So that's telling me all the wires going to my switch up here. They're all green. So I want to show you this too, where it plugs in. It's all dirty, corroded, and green. I'm going to clean up them ends and then she should be good to go. Alright guys, so I got the cover back on. I uh, cleaned up my uh, terminal ends and uh, two things you want to keep in mind. Uh, after you're done cleaning, uh, what I like to use is a uh, electrode cleaner. Uh, not the name drop here. And put a little uh, dielectric grease on the ends of your terminals. Go ahead and plug them back in. And uh, like I said, I hot wired the fan. And uh, I had a couple of people asking me questions on that. So if uh, you guys want me to shoot a video on how to hot wire a fan, I can, I can do that. Uh, I do it because I don't trust the sensors. Uh, you could be right and the sensor could go out and you overheat the motor. So turn the key on, hear the fan run. Now I know I got power to everything. Right, so now when I turn the key, you can hear the fan come on. It's just a fire right up. And I turn the handlebars. Nothing happens. I tied this up, left a little slack here. Just clean my ends, put dielectric grease on. And there you have it, folks. That's my quick fix of the day. If you like the video, hit the like button. Slap that bell if you want notifications for my uh, upcoming videos. I have a lot of them. And uh, thanks for watching. Till next time.